Yeah, so as you can see, they're just building a bunch of new homes in the area. We're now two blocks from my house on Boyer Street, turning down Maple, where you can see all these gorgeous new homes. I'm pretty sure these homes right here were part of a initiative that the city of Raleigh put together for um, lower income people to be able to afford new construction. It capped it. Um, you could only qualify to buy if you made under a certain amount, and if you made over a certain amount, you didn't qualify to buy. This neighborhood is great. I love it. I feel safe here. I just sold this house. These are my clients. They closed last Friday. Super cute. Another Luke Costanza triangle building job. Front porch will be painted black. We're just waiting for that wood to dry before we can paint it. So we'll make our way over to St. Augustine's University. As you can see, a bunch of more new construction mixed in with some older homes. And the best part about this neighborhood is that it's a great location. We're close to the Alamo, which is my favorite movie theater in Raleigh. So now we're on Oakwood Avenue, but we're also super, super close to the Oakwood neighborhood, which unfortunately didn't make my top three neighborhoods. Um, but it is a cool neighborhood to check out, especially in the winter, which is coming up where they have the candlelight tour um, and all the houses are, you know, super nicely decorated. Um, but the cool thing about Oakwood is that it's historical. Some of the oldest houses in Raleigh and they have to keep the um, outside aesthetics looking original, which is wild and probably hard to do. But up here is St. Augustine's, which is the first all black college in North Carolina, I think. Don't quote me, you can fact check me. This is what makes my favorite neighborhood pretty unique. Keeps it vibrant, active. Yeah, she likes car rides. Car of a real estate agent. You got a yard sign. <laughs> you got your dog. She's my favorite accessory. Most of my clients love her. All right, guys, we're at stop number two on my top three or five. I don't know what we decided on, but whatever. We'll hit that roadblock when we get there. Of my favorite neighborhoods in Raleigh, asterisk inside the Bell Line. This is the Fred Fletcher area. I'm not biased or anything, but I actually used to live in these condos for four and a half years. Park Ridge Lane, the green condos right outside of Fred Fletcher Park. I loved them. It's quiet over here. They're affordable condos. They're old, but they have character. Um, no elevators, so they're three-story walk-ups you're in New York City or something. They're a great location. They are nestled in between Glenwood Avenue, Wade Avenue, and St. Mary's and kind of Peace Street. There's about four different complexes, Park Ridge Lane, reserves at Bishop's Park, Washington Square, and Brighthurst Condos. They're all different in their own right. I've sold four condos over here. I've listed them, um, sold them within three days. They all sold for ask or above ask price. Like I said, they're one or two bedroom condos. There's a few three bedrooms in this area. Reasons why you should live here. Great location, affordability, tons of parking. And you are literally right next door to my favorite park in Raleigh. That's right, folks. My favorite park is not Dick's Park. It is Fred Fletcher Park. Not that many people actually come out to the park, which is wild because it's beautifully Landscaped, maintained, amazing flowers, trees, it's mature. Um, and it also provides a nice walking area, it has a baseball slash softball field, tons of picnic um, places to eat, a little play set, tennis courts, a basketball court, lots of paved sidewalks. And I used to cut through every day, every morning I would walk through Fred Fletcher Park to Starbucks and waste $5 on a cold brew. If you have any questions or you want more information on how to buy or sell in this area, give me a call. Like I said, I lived here for four years. I know this like the back of my hand and it's a great, great location. Minutes, walking minutes to Glenwood South, to Cameron Village. You got Harris Teeter. Now you're super close to the new Publix on Peace Street. You can't beat it, y'all. Now let's go look at Fred Fletcher Park. In uh, the summer, this is where I taught my outdoor yoga classes, which is great. There's tons of open open space to do yoga, not catch COVID. Where should we go next, Maggie? But we're driving through my third favorite neighborhood in Raleigh, 
asterisk inside the belt line. That neighborhood is known as Hayes Barton. Um, it's where everybody wants to live. It is the most luscious street in Raleigh, I swear, in the spring and summer. It is just one of my favorite streets to drive down. This is the main road in Hayes Barton, and then you have all the little one-off streets off of it with some beautiful homes, older homes, amazing architecture. The price point on the sticker will tell, even though this area is always gonna be super expensive, but it's amazing, it's a great location. You're in between, you're super, super accessible to Glenwood Avenue, which gets you to 440, gets you to all the main shopping centers, you're super close to downtown and five points is walkable basically from you uh which has you know one of my favorite restaurants hayes barton cafe because they have the best desserts in the world has coffee has lola's it has an amazing post office that is always empty bottle shops gas station a new lone rider bar that's going to be opening where uh the point was r.i.p um so we're turning down fairview right now which will shoot you out to five points I'm not gonna go all the way to Glenwood, but we'll cut back through some of my favorite roads that I used to love to walk um, walk on when I lived over by Fred Fletcher Park. Here's Cowper, y'all. Cowper, Cowper is wild. I'll tell you why. Million dollar homes, amazingly beautiful. The the yards are just so well maintained. I just love this. I love this damn neighborhood. It's so quiet. Peaceful. Hayes Barton, y'all. It's what's up. It's wild, I tell you. Raleigh, Raleigh real estate. It's pretty cray in a good way. Every day.